Right, we're gonna do the last um, part of arithmetic with functions, which you can only do with functions now, which is called a composition of functions, which is basically a function of a function. So, here's the definition here. I've got f of g of x, and that's equal to f of g of x. And, as we we'll see here, you can do it with three functions, and you can also do the same thing with four, and it basically works the same way. So, I've got some examples here. This is my function f of x, and here's my function g of x, and I want to find f of g of x. So, what this means again is it means that's what it means. That's basically what we're finding here with these two particular functions. So, I've got me f of x, and basically what I'm doing is everywhere where I see x in my f of x function, I'm plugging in this function here, g of x. So, let us show you what I, what I mean here. Here's me f of x, and here's me g of x. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in this g of x into me f of x function, and this is what we're calculating here. So let's see what we get. That's what I get at the back there. And here I get 9x squared. 3x times 2 is 6x. I've got two lots, that's, that's 12x. And plus 4. And then multiply this out. 18x squared plus 24x plus... 8 minus 3x minus 2. Now we'll combine what like terms we've got here. I get 18x squared plus 21x plus 6. So that is me. Answer. This problem here. That's the solution. So now we're finding this one here. So now I've got my g of x first, and what I'm doing is everywhere where I see x in me g of x function, let us write down my g of x function. This is it. And everywhere where I say x I plug in this f, f of x function. So this is my f of x function. So here because I've got an x I'm putting in this function. And now what I'm basically going to do is just calculate this and see what we'll get. So I get 6x squared minus 3x plus 2. That's a, a pretty easy problem. Now you can also find f of f and g of g. I can let you try and do that if you like. And the other thing we're doing calculus is we like to express a function as a composition. And this is very important later on with derivatives, the chain rule. Um, u substitutions for integrals, partial, partial integration by parts. So, let's have a look at this. Now what I want to do is I want to express this as a function like this up here, because this is with definition. 
So I'm going to let one function, yeah, f of x and g of x, yeah. So I've got two functions and I want to figure out what they should both be. Now I'm putting in the g of x into f of x, so my outer function here is going to be x to the 10. And then notice, to get this function, if I substitute x squared plus 1 for x, I've got this function, so g of x is going to be x squared plus 1. There we go, that's the composition, and you can use this, and you'll see you get that. So that's how you can check you've done that right. And one more quick example here that I want to express as a composition of functions. I'm going to let one of my functions be x over x plus 4. Now look what we've got here. To get that, all we do is everywhere we see x, we'll put an x squared. So, my other function here is going to be simply x squared. Because, remember, all we're doing is we're plugging this in everywhere we see this x value of the first function. Okay, because it's basically just a function of a function like I've set up here. And, yeah, so that's basically all you do. And that's all we've got about combining functions. You should have mastered it by now.